Good to see you. All right there, Revenants, welcome back to Code Vein in the Road to 100, where today we are in the Ridge of Frozen Souls, continuing our Prometheus builds um, through uh, 75 stars. And today we are going to rely on our um, Blood Veil here to deal our fire damage, and in the event that we come up against the Boreal Brutes with armor, we will bring a Flame Cartridge just for that exact moment in time. So Prometheus is... Um, uniquely suited here to build out for uh, tacking on extra damage while stunning the enemy while poisoning them and with uh, debuff build up on here we are going to have a much uh, better uh, stun chance of uh, clapping the enemy pretty much and so uh, as we get going here we'll bring white mia along with us just because of the fact of her this double gift extension and so and so because we will have double gift extension on pretty much everything and I've uh, I've made a mistake here um, yeah I know that's all she wrote um, I didn't want uh, cognitive zeal I don't know why I have that on that's right so let me let me head back here real fast and let me switch these out switch these around i was playing with a couple other things and this was not supposed to be here um what i was wanting was flame weapon and this here okay that's what i wanted to have happen um, so we can have fire uh we can also bring the flame cartridge uh as a quick application if we need to just knock off some armor and because we will have double um gift extension here for the um different uh engagements that we're gonna have we are going to be able to have um an insane amount of length of time where blade dance almost an entire minute and uh you can see um that we are going to have some uh considerable considerable uh damage output that we're gonna have um because we can uh constantly uh swing our sword uh, because of the fact that uh, we have um, very, very, very long durations on double gift extension, yielding, you know, pretty, uh, pretty good um, damage value increases, just because of uh, the fact of, whoops, just because of the fact that we will have so much time um, ha having access to, um, whoops, having access to um, blade dance. Okay, and let's get poison going. And this, since we're on double, um... Okay, and see there, we got him poisoned. And he was able to be killed. And we are still halfway through Blade Dance. And our, uh, stun, um... Weapon and everything is actually, uh... Working very, very well here for us. Okay, very, very nice. And let's get... Uh, at least one gift extension um, going here with our uh, abilities for uh, whoops okay that is most unfortunate there that we got hit but that's okay this guy will be gone and you can see that uh, our damage right now is at 2039 and when blade dance ends here you can see that uh, we we just lost 1200 damage uh, which is pretty crazy uh, that we were able to um, develop such a very high level of damage in a very very short amount of time but because but because we have over a minute of blade dance um, especially during like the Nicola fight and such uh, we are going to have an insane amount of damage that we can stack up and we don't really need any other buffs or any other kind of uh, weapon gifts or anything because we are going to be able to have uh, very, very, very uh, good amounts of uh, damage overall. And you can see that the stun is actually helpful and useful even for the uh, regular folks here. So um, not including any other kind of uh, craziness. Okay. And go ahead and do your slam. And uh, uh, we'll go ahead and stop his... Um, ice armor there because that is nasty okay and we'll just go ahead and uh 
slap him down here. Okay, and you can see that uh, we didn't even use um, like half a bar of stamina there. Um, so we are going to have monstrous amounts of ability here as we get into um, the uh, the areas here with uh, Nicola and everything. And you can see that the poison and stun uh, over and 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 over is a great way to stagger the enemy. It's like a it's like a poor man's stagger. It's not a true stagger because you are 100% uh, stunning the enemy out of you know whatever position they're in. Um, but uh, it's a great way to um, engage each of these enemies here along the way. And so we will uh, wait for Mia to give us a double gift extension here on all of these. We'll go for a couple backstabs um, so we can uh, get a couple more um, uh, items up here and get our I-Core increased. And the only reason we're going for the Ruinous Chevalier is because of the uh, really, really, really good damage and the, um, and the I-Core recovery. Okay. And so, as you can see, we can get back a huge amount of i to keep all of the um, reasons that that this build is good and acceptable. Um, why we uh, need it to be uh, active. Okay. And so, we also want to uh, go here. Good. And see, we can start to uh, dominate these guys in one... Uh, one attack here and we'll go for a backstab and then we'll go right into um a uh, an attack here so that's really really great and right now we're at 1861 so we are uh, really 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 skyrocketing our damage it would be nice to go kill that boreal brute but we'll have one over here that we can play around with uh, no problem and you can see uh, we are now at 1994, um, so we are able to um, just continue increasing this 5% damage uh, by a huge, huge, huge amount. So we can get up over uh, 2,000 pretty much uh, super easily, uh, basically at any point in time, any time we want to. So it's very, very nice uh, that we are able to do that. Um, I know kind of at will there's no uh whoops there's no uh restrictions on that ouch okay let's go ahead and launch him since he's uh being so naughty here okay let's go for poison and let's go for another launch whoops okay thanks mia okay now this is fine to uh see if he gets armor I was going to say because then we will have the chance to um, destroy his, uh, whoops, to destroy his uh, uh, ability here because we will have an insane amount of uh, damage stacked up. 1640, we've already doubled, um, we've already doubled our damage output from the sword and you can see that uh, from, from these uh, guys we are uh, constantly able to uh, increase that damage from that 886 absolutely insane how fast and far you can take uh, blade dance with a build setup that has an insane amount of stamina value uh, paired with the uh, different abilities that you have uh, embedded in the in in the uh, code here um, so let's go uh, let's go for this guy again and uh Let's go for, um, you know, all the things here to go for the Boreal Brute again because he is a very, very fun um, uh, fight. Ouch. And that was most unfortunate there that we just lost um, concentration. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. Okay. Let's go for some attacks here. Okay. Ouch. Thanks, Mia. Okay, and then uh, let's go for a launch. Good. And then let's go for uh, fire. 
Okay, he can fly away. That's fine. And you can see now our damage is now at 1640. So very, very good um, that we are able to uh, pretty much uh, overpower him with just the amount of um, attacks here. And now we are at 2305. So you can see that uh, if we are getting that 33% damage reduction or stamina reduction from concentration, and you pair that with a double gift extension, and you pair it with the Nikola fight here coming up, um, you'll just watch his uh, uh, health bar pretty much just melt away here in the snow by the sheer amount of uh, power that we're going to be able to produce on this fight. Um, it's very, very enjoyable to be able to produce this amount of damage just because of the fact that, you know, everything is um, not exactly what you might think it to be. Okay, um, because uh, you might look at it and say, well, you don't have any real uh, damage uh, gifts or anything like that. And uh, so how are you going to um, make sure that you uh, have everything you need? And it's like, well, Blade Dance just uh, takes care of the damage and everything else takes care of the rest. So let's get these going. Let's get stun going for now. And uh, we will go for Blade Dance um, as necessary here as we get into the fight. Thank you, Mia. Okay. Whoops. Okay, that was uh, mistake number one there. Okay. There's stun number one. Oh, whoops. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's start that over, because uh, we need concentration, and that would be super helpful to be able to do it uh, correctly here. And we'll go for the stamina boosters and everything. Um, so having uh, uh, the ability to recharge your stamina faster is going to be basically a damage uh, increase. Um, let's go for a charge drain here. And just knock him off. Uh, that way we can at least get two I-Core. That is very, very, very nice. Okay, so let's go for these. Um, and we'll go for Concentration. We'll go for Stamina. And this. And we'll go for a Drain Activator. To make sure that we get all our gifts up and going. So it kind of equalizes out here. Because he's not uh, active here at the beginning. Okay. So we'll, uh, we'll let him do whatever he's going to do there. Okay, and Blade Dance go. Okay, now we will be able to um, apply a huge amount of uh, damage here. Okay, and you can see that, uh, you know, as uh, the stamina uh, will build up here um, we will have um, pretty much uh, a uh, kind of no problem scenario here okay that's good and we'll let our stamina build up here ouch and there's concentration gone and and right there actually we could just go for it and kill him and I wish he would go away so I can show you the damage okay there's a good point and we are at 3280 <laughs> which is absolutely crazy um, to uh, to have that happen um, in oh Mia I didn't want you to kill him oh uh, okay well at least we saw the damage um, but you can actually get it to go a little higher if you uh, use um, a couple of your gifts in a, in a different uh, variety in a different manner um, we could go to the silent white but uh, I think it's a it's a really good um, kind of just a really good display of how blade dance can um, you know at the height of its damage output you're kind of at the end of the boss fight already anyways and all you've done is just stand there and attack um and you've stunned him over and over and uh you've you know taken taken these two to be very very good and you can also um instead of just going for mind and willpower here um you don't really need it 
um, unless you're going for the ruinous chevalier. Uh, so that's the only reason. That's the only reason we're bringing that along is just for the uh, blood veil. And so you can see that having a huge stamina bar uh, at 357, and then with one of the stamina boosters at 407, uh, you can get Blade Dance to. Uh, we were at 3208, which is almost a four times multiplier uh, to our damage here, which is pretty crazy. Um, and if we use Circulating Pulse here in between, um, we can get that to go a little bit higher. But the opening actually has to be. Uh, beneficial and valuable for us um, as you saw at the uh, at the other uh, boreal brute uh, he does have a pretty healthy uh, health HP value and so being able to fight against him is you know still difficult but he's a lot harder than what Nicola is because he actually um, he actually cannot um, he actually can't uh, stun for long periods of time like Nicola does, so that is a real problem for us. And so uh, if we go uh, for uh, Blade Dance here, okay, go ahead and do that. And we'll go for a backstab here. Um, so we don't, we don't have a problem of, you know, with Nicola, but what we do have is the problem of, um, you know, we can backstab, but we but we don't have really any other problem with this guy. So we got about 300 uh, damage increase there. Um, so that's like a 40% increase. We hit him about eight, eight, nine times or something like that. And uh, so if we bring these fellas up uh, here, come on guys, come and get me. Um, a couple of dynamite bros so we can kill this guy. And then uh, the the sword damage output will uh, be just incredibly stellar that every time we start using it, and we got another 300 right there, so we're now almost doubling our damage, and we've only in, in uh, we've only fought uh, three enemies here along the way. So um, having access to blade dance with a build that uh, capitalizes on the stamina output. Um, can be extra super deadly for enemies and bosses. So if you're looking for a, a great way to go through the Ridge of Frozen Souls to go through Nicola, uh, this is one very powerful potent uh, setup. And the reality is is that you really don't need any of these other things. You just need Blade Dance, a nice one-handed sword, and a bunch of stamina, um, and you are good to go. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Um, where are we going next? We're going to the um, Ashy Cavern next, so we'll have some uh, fun down there. We'll see you guys then. Bye.